so yeah, baby, right. girl <laughs> she's so ghetto oh baby 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 it's getting kind of crazy cause you are taking over my mind and it feels like I'm back with the video um, so first and foremost welcome to my youtube channel if you are new make sure you hit that subscribe button that's down below and if you are returning welcome back thank you for joining me um, just make sure you also hit that notification button because this week I'm gonna be posting like back to back what's up because we quarantining so we finna be in the house all week I got kids they sleep but we finna make it happen I don't care so anywho Today I wanted to do a video and it's gonna include or featuring or whatever you wanna call it, Ardell. So I found this in Target the other day when I was looking for hand sanitizer and Lysol wipes and everything was gone. But I was like, ooh, let me see what this is. So the Target that I went to, it was like $10. It was on sale. But um, I had to ride around to like four different Targets. I finally found the one that I wanted. I had to go way out. Um, but I found it. I had to pay $14.99, but in the Target that I originally saw it, it was $10.49 or something like that. So, because I always get my eyebrows tint, you guys don't usually see me like this in my uh, natural state. It's really not natural state because I got a little bit concealer and stuff going on under there. But I wanted the color dark brown. Um, this comes in, I believe, light brown medium brown dark brown and soft black so i decided let me try the dark brown and see how that works so i finally found it um once again it was $14.99 and then i'm also going to include the ardell fox mink lashes they're 3d if i said fox wrong then whatever y'all know what i'm talking about but yeah i'm not a big fan of their lashes because i don't like the thin band but we're gonna just go ahead and do these today. This is the cutest one that I found. Um, so yeah, I think I'm gonna put these on first before I start this so I can have like a little pop because right now I'm just looking real sick. Like, whew. So we're gonna go ahead and open this because I don't wanna make this video too long. Um, I'm excited, I can't wait. I hope it turned out good. Y'all don't mind the noise in the background if you can't hear anything. This is my kids. Y'all already know everybody's kids out of school. So yeah. So I'm gonna go ahead and open the box. Um, so what they provide is one uh, bottle powder tip, which is this. It's very small. Don't think you're gonna start a whole business with this little thing. This is just a little sample for you to do at home. And they also have one conditioning developer. So they put this in there as well. And then the next thing they have is a reusable tray. They put it in a little Ziploc bag. Let me take it out for y'all so y'all can see. This is the reusable tray. It's not that big. You just, I guess that's just cook it up. Um, <laughs> and they have one reusable spoolie. Um, you guys know that you use for your eyelashes or to comb your eyebrows and then they also have a reusable spatula for mixing so these are all the things that come in this one box and then they also give you the instructions so we're gonna go ahead and see what we're supposed to do um so three easy steps mix apply and shape um, this product is not intended for use on eyelashes to do so may cause blindness. So don't put on your eyelashes, it's only for your eyebrows. Duh. Okay, so perform an allergy test 24 hours before applying the brow tint. We ain't got time for that. You'll just figure out if, you, if you're allergic to it, then you'll figure out after you put it on your face. So we don't have time for all that. We only got 24 hours. So um, have a timer on handy. You can use your phone or whatever the case may be. Remove any color residue from the skin immediately after processing. Cleanse brows before tinting. Never apply to eyelashes. So my brows are clean. Um, I went and got them waxed yesterday, so at least we can have some structure. So we know where to line them up at. Their brows 
uh, by washing with soap and water to dry thoroughly. Mixing. Squeeze a pea-sized amount of conditioning developer into the plastic tray. So we're gonna take this, and we're gonna take this, and we're gonna put a pea-sized amount. I don't know what the hell a pea size amount is, but we are gonna figure it out today. Um, this is also sealed, so you know that the products haven't been used. If yours isn't sealed, somebody opened it straight up and they returned it. So, ooh. so we're gonna take this and do, ooh, ooh, oh Lord. Okay, I guess that's a pea size amount. It's, uh, it's like a clear liquid gel. It moves around very easily. Um, so I put a pea size amount and then um, into the mixing tray. Um, and they show you what a pea size amount look like for those who don't know what a pea size amount look like. Uh, shake the tint bottle three to four times into the developer. Cause they got these little holes. You know how when you do your, um, your baking stuff and they got the holes, that's how they got this. So that's why they say shake it three to four times into the, uh, into the developer. So one, two, three, four and put a little extra just in case. <sighs> so you're gonna go ahead and use the spatula uh, to thoroughly mix the tint until it is a smooth consistency. So we're gonna mix this together. This look dangerous. I feel like, you know how you used to have those easy bake ovens when you was little and then you used to make them little cookies and they didn't really taste like nothing? That's how this is. All right, so we're just gonna mix that up or the little baby food, like when you had the baby dolls and you um, making them food. All right, so, well, where's the color at? All right, so we mix this up and this is what it looked like, y'all. I don't even know if I'm doing this right. It don't look like enough, but that's what they told us to do. Okay, so we're gonna mix that up. <clears throat> So it's a smooth consistency. I think it's a smooth consistency. I don't know what that's supposed to look like. I guess when you don't see no more powder and stuff, that's a smooth consistency. So just mix it up until it's like that. All right. Oh, it's getting a little darker. Okay, so it says, apply the mixture generously to one bra at a time using a small brush provided as a precise application. Be sure to apply the mixture in the shape of your desired brow and clean up around the edges to avoid accidental staining for the skin. Oh Lord. Y'all ready for this? Y'all don't mind my jacket, it keeps falling off. Y'all, I'm nervous. Okay, so I'm gonna take this and then put it on Y'all, what if it don't turn out right? Like, I'm gonna look crazy. Is this supposed to last for two weeks? Oh, Jesus. Let me see. Y'all, if it don't look good, don't talk about me. Just leave a comment and say you did a good job, okay? You tried. Just leave a comment and say you tried, girl. Don't, don't talk about me. But it seems, it's too easy, it's too good to be true. I don't know, I feel like I need another brush or something. Mm. Y'all see anything yet? Y'all see a difference? It looks the same, I done used all the product that was in the little Petri dish. put it on I don't use all the little product that was in there um, it says set a timer for 10 minutes after application is completed uh, I don't think I need to clean up anything um, I'm gonna get like a little paper towel and just get any access that's underneath um, but I set a timer on my daughter's iPad so we gonna see, and then I'm gonna do the other side so it all be sitting together. But I don't see no difference. It just look like I put some gel on there and just move the back. But hopefully it do something. So 
I'm gonna do the other side and we'll be back. All right, so y'all, my 10 minutes, I don't know, I'm dropping stuff. All right, so my 10 minutes is up. Let me just say this. You can feel a little tingly or it, it burn a little bit, but let me take this off so I don't be looking crazy. But it says set the timer. So once it's complete, remove the color for the bra area with a damp towel. So we're gonna go ahead and take this off. I don't know if I'm doing this right. I hope I am. So y'all, that's what it's supposed to look like, I guess. It got a little darker. A little something, something. A little razzle dazzle. I guess you could do this, like if you don't have time to go to your nail salon or they take their last few people and you last minute, you can go buy this box and then just tint your eyebrows yourself, but I probably prefer to go get it done. Um, allow eyebrows to dry thoroughly to see the color results. So I guess you gotta let it dry a little bit. So, let's see here. You better off going to the Chinese people to do it. Um, because if this $15, they charge you $7 to tint your eyebrows. You might as well just go get it done by a professional and just let them do it themselves because this ain't where it's at. This is a waste of uh, $14, but I guess because they give you so much product, it'll last, but, and they also say if, um, if it's slightly, if you want it slightly darker, oh, I'm about to call. <coughs> <coughs> I don't got the virus. My, um, it went down the wrong way. You know, you be in public and you be scared to cough. You be like, child, let me, let me hold it in. But anywho, so if you need it slightly darker, it says reapply the brow tint um, and process for another three to five minutes. But I think I'm gonna just leave it like this because I don't want it to be too crazy. Um, or maybe I could do it one more time so y'all can see what it looks like. But yeah, I'm leaving this one on because I did this one like four minutes after I did this one. And that's it. That was easy, a quick 10 minutes while you getting dressed, you can hurry up and do it. So let me take this side off. I don't know if the, the minutes is up, but I'm gonna just take it off. Oh, this side looked a little bit darker than the other one, y'all. Let me see here. Hmm. I don't know, it's a little boot dig. I wouldn't do this again, but it was cute or whatever. Oh, there got my timer. So I'm taking this side off, the 10 minutes is up. I'm using a damp towel. Um, I'm not sure if I'm doing it right, but yeah. I don't know if y'all see a difference in when I started to now, but I guess it look a little bit darker, but it's not like the tint that I'm used to. But maybe it's like a natural kind of tint going on. It's cute or whatever. I see like a little darkness. Now I look like this eyebrow got less hair than this one. Oh God, you start looking at flaws and seeing that stuff ain't done right. But yeah. And it's supposed, it says it's supposed to last for two weeks, but I doubt it. This thing gonna last for two weeks. But I need like a little bit more right there. But yeah, I don't know. Um, Like I said before, I didn't tell y'all all the other stuff. It has no ammonia, no peroxide, and it covers up grays. Um, and it's cruelty free, vegan, y'all favorite word is vegan, um, and gluten free. So, yeah, I, mine don't look like hers, but I don't know. It, it did a little something. I wouldn't buy this again. Um, I would rather just go get my eyebrows tinted from the people who I always go to. Um, because I feel like it lasts longer, depending on your wash routine. But then too, I doubt if this is gonna last two weeks if you somebody who going in and start scrubbing your face and doing your face routines. 
Um, but yeah, it did its dollar. Did it do anything? Like, do y'all feel like y'all see a difference? I don't know. I think it's a little bit darker, but it's not like a real tint tint. Maybe if I would have did soft black, but I think it would have been too black. So the dark brown was probably perfect because the medium brown would have been too light. Um, but y'all comment below and tell me what y'all think, if y'all see anything. I let it sit for the 10 minutes. I'm gonna try to reapply it um, and do the three to five minutes to see if I see a difference or to see if it looks a little bit darker. But yeah. So this is my second coat. You don't have to put a second coat if you're satisfied with the first coat. But I look, oh, okay. Ooh, first, yes. Ready to go now. Ooh. If y'all, um, if, if y'all, um, nail salon, shoot, y'all can go open up a business um, while we quarantine and start charging people. I'm finna go get me a little table to lay out and, ooh, finna do people eyebrows here. Just tell them to close their eyes so they can't see you using the box and the products. But this look cute, y'all. Sure, if you need like an emergency tint, I was gonna say no, but after I put the second coat, it look a little bit better. I have some structure, I look good. Like, I'm finna go, yeah. Um, so that's all I have for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, it was fun and quick. It does burn a little bit, but it goes away after a while. Hopefully I don't break out cause I didn't do the 24 hour test. See, that's our problem. We always trying out stuff and then we don't do what the instructions say. They tell you uh, complete instructions from one through 10, how to do everything. Um, and if you have any kind of problems, then they give you the little instructions how to fix that. But it's cute or whatever. So thank you guys for watching my YouTube channel. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Once again, make sure you hit that like button and that subscribe button below and that notification button because I'm posting all week straight up. Like, y'all ain't got nothing to do. Y'all in the house, so y'all finna watch my videos. So, get your act right. girl. Get <laughs> She's so ghetto. But anywho, um, yeah. Thank you guys for watching. Peace. Period. Pooh. <laughs>